Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Bridget and I make home and DIY videos every week here on YouTube. My passion is sharing budget-friendly DIYs and styling tips to help you create a home you love that reflects your personal style. I'd love to have you join me for future videos, so if you're not already, feel free to subscribe down below and ring the bell. You can also follow along my DIY journey over on Instagram at ByBridgetDIY. And without further ado, let's jump into today's project. If you are an avid knitter, you've probably heard of Socks Therapist on Ravelry. Not only is she the designer of the now famous Fish Lips Kiss sock heel pattern, but she's also my mom. And last year, she knit nearly 100 little mismatched socks like these for my siblings and me to use as advent calendars. One way to display them would be to add them one by one to your Christmas tree each day of December, but I have two curious cats who I don't trust to leave our tree alone, so I decided I would make my own advent calendar that hangs on the wall instead. If you don't have a world famous knitter mom who gifts you hand knit socks, don't worry. You can recreate this advent calendar by substituting the socks with small bags or something similar. And the best part of this DIY is that it's also an Ikea hack, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name of this Ikea rug, but here it is, and it's only $3.99, so it's the perfect affordable backdrop for our project. The first step is to remove the tag from the rug. If you use a seam ripper, you'll be able to completely remove the white stitching for a cleaner look. As with most IKEA rugs, you'll notice that it has some serious creases from being folded, so make sure you iron those out. This rug is 100% cotton, so I was able to use water and fairly high heat on it. I'd recommend ironing both sides thoroughly for best results. Here I'm folding over the edge of the rug at what will later become the top of the wall hanging and marking a dowel so that it sticks out about a half centimeter from each side. You absolutely don't need a dowel quite this thick, but I'm trying to use up wood scraps I had on hand so this is what I'm going with. Next, I'm cutting on the mark using a miter box. If you're new to DIYs or don't have money or space for an electric saw, a miter box is a great starter tool for making small straight cuts. I'm giving the ends of the dowel a quick sand with 150 grit sandpaper before moving to the next step. I'm removing the fringe from one end of the rug before placing the dowel back over it and using my favorite quilting clips to hold the fabric together, creating a sleeve for the dowel. I'll be using the existing stitching on the edge of the rug as a guide on which to sew, making a straight line down the fabric to complete the dowel sleeve. As you can see, the dowel fits perfectly in the sleeve, so it's time to plan out the spacing of the calendar itself. First, I'm measuring its height, which came to about 28 inches, as seen here. I'm laying out my twine and five socks to help me visualize the look I'm going for. Then, because I decided on having five rows of socks, I divided the 28 inch height of the rug by five and rounded down slightly to allow for a bit of a border at the bottom of the calendar. This meant that I'd need to space each strand of twine five inches below the previous one. After clamping the twine in place, I'm tacking it down at each end using my sewing machine. An easy way to do this is to lower your feet dogs and set the machine on a zigzag stitch. This will create a strong tack similar to what you'd use to sew on a button. I made sure to turn my rug 90 degrees and tack the edges again, creating a small X over each strand of twine. After repeating this process on each end of my five twine strands, I'm trimming off all the loose threads as well as any twine that extends past the edge of the rug. I'm temporarily removing the dowel so that I can use this nifty tool called, no joke, that purple thing, <laughs> I'll link it below, to feed another strand of twine through the sleeve. This will eventually be used to hang the finished calendar. 
To provide structure and keep the calendar from curling under the weight of the hanging socks, I'm gluing five small dowels onto the back, each directly behind a strand of twine. I'm using hot glue here, so do as I say, not as I do, and put on something to protect your fingers. I have no good excuse for why I didn't wear my heat resistant finger guards this time. Safety first people, be smarter than I am. You could absolutely make your own tags to number the days, but I came across this scrapbook page at Michael's and loved the pre-made countdown, so I'm cutting each one out and then using scissors to slightly round each corner. A corner punch would be very handy for this step, but they were out of stock, so I did it by hand. Next, I'm taking these mini wooden clothespins and using hot glue to adhere one to the bottom backside edge of each number. These will be used to secure the socks to the twine. To help with even spacing and symmetry, I like to start by pinning the middle sock, then outer edge socks, before filling in the other ones for each row. When all the socks are up, it's time for arguably the most important step, slipping a candy inside each one to enjoy as you count down the days until Christmas. I went for Reese's Trees this year, but I'd love to know your favorite holiday candy down in the comments. I know by the time this video comes out, we'll be a few days into December already, but if you haven't yet started an advent calendar and still want to, this IKEA rug hack is a great solution. And can we just take a moment to appreciate all the fun details, patterns, and colors in these cute socks my mom knit? I'll definitely link her Instagram in the description down below so you can check out the projects she's working on. If you do, make sure to tell her that Bridget, her favorite child, sent you. I'm just kidding. Sort of. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm so in love with how my advent calendar came out and I'm looking forward to displaying my mom's adorable hand-knit socks for years to come. As always, I hope today's video inspired you to create something similar for your home. If you do, please tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag ByBridgetDIY so I can see your work. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. We're getting so close to 100 subscribers and I'm planning a giveaway when we hit that landmark, so stay tuned. See you next time.